Apple's next Big Cat operating system is finally here, and it offers plenty of features to make it worthy of the price. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Parker for CNET, and this is a first look at Mac OS X Mountain Lion. The latest version of Mac OS X comes with more than 200 new features that make several actions easier and make it more connected to your other Apple devices. In the interest of time, I can't cover everything today, but we'll show off some of the new features. As the first Apple operating system to be announced after the introduction of iCloud, Mountain Lion offers much more iCloud integration than past versions of Mac OS X. The most notable new feature, Documents in the Cloud, gives you a window upon launch of an app that shows all your current documents. This means that whatever device you're on, you'll have the latest version of all your documents everywhere. Note how the iCloud window offers quick look preview features like in the Finder. Next, Messages is now on the Mac in Mountain Lion. Now you'll be able to send instant messages to friends and coworkers from your Mac directly to other iOS devices running iOS 5 or later. You can also send multimedia message with a simple drag and drop. Don't forget that as long as you're chatting with another Mountain Lion or iOS device user, your chats won't count towards your texting plan with your service carrier. Mountain Lion also offers Reminders. Originally added in iOS 5 for Apple's mobile devices, the Reminders app syncs up with iOS devices through iCloud so your reminders are always with you. In Mountain Lion, reminders aren't just about time-based alerts. You also have the ability to send yourself reminders based on your GPS location. Very handy when you have to remember something when leaving work, for example. In Safari, Apple's web browser, the company has adopted a unified smart search field similar to what you have in Google Chrome, so you can type out a URL or just add a search term. Safari also has a new way to browse tabs with Tab View, an iCloud synced feature that shows you the current open tabs on your Apple devices. Even better, with a pinch gesture, you enter a new interface for tab browsing mode that lets you swipe between open tabs and reverse pinch to go back to regular viewing mode. Sharing is much easier in Mountain Lion as well, with a new share button that shows up in many interface elements across the operating system. In Safari, you can touch the share button, and Mountain Lion will list the most appropriate share actions for the content. With this website, for example, the sharing button picks appropriate ways to share a URL. That brings us to Facebook and Twitter integration. Just like the one-time sign-up you do with Twitter in iOS 5 for iPhones and iPads, you'll soon be able to sign up once on Facebook or Twitter in Mountain Lion, then have easy access to sharing items on both social networks. Unfortunately, Facebook integration won't come until this fall as an update, but Twitter is ready to use right now in Mountain Lion. Simply touch the Share button, choose Twitter, and you get what Apple calls a Share Sheet, where you can type in your message, add an attachment along with your location, and send the update directly to Twitter. For the Mac and iOS gamers out there, Mountain Lion now also includes Game Center, and it's synced up with the same account as your iOS devices. Not only will you be able to view your stats, leaderboards, current games, and friends across all devices, you'll also be able to play multiplayer games on your Mac against friends on iOS devices. Of course, the games will have to be made ready for the Mac, but I imagine a number of developers will jump on board now that Game Center will be included in Mountain Lion. For security, Apple has added Gatekeeper that ensures you'll only download safe apps that are confirmed as such by Apple. As a demonstration, I'll go into the security settings and set it to only accept Mac App Store apps. You'll also notice you can include identified developers, but for test purposes, I'll leave it like this. Now, if I try to launch an app downloaded from another source, a dialog lets me know it can't be opened. It seems a little odd to me that it would let me download the app at all, but as a last line of defense, it's good to know that users will be warned before opening a questionable file. As I mentioned earlier, there are more than 200 new features in Mountain Lion, so that's all we have for today. But I take a deeper dive in my written review on CNET. Mountain Lion is available right now at the Mac App Store for $19.95, and with the many conveniences it adds, I think it's a worthwhile purchase. I'm Jason Parker for CNET, and this has been a first look for Apple's Mountain Lion. Thanks for watching.